Morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So this is Buddy Gulfer and today is going to be day two of the project Audi decontamination and cleaning of the paintwork. Um, so yesterday I spent almost four hours um, using different products and did get the car to a good standard but it's not, in my opinion, good enough yet for being detailed. So today I have managed to source some other products. These are products I've never used before. Um, so we are going to test them out today on the car. I'm not sure how long it is going to take to complete this today. Um, but unfortunately, the stockist that I was trying to get the products from didn't manage to get everything ordered for me in time so I ended up having to drive all the way through to Dundee to go and pick up two of the items so I'm not sure the condition of the car because I have literally just arrived outside the unit where I was working yesterday um, so Probably the first thing we're going to have to do is rinse down the car, then potentially snow foam it before we get to then use the products, which I am now about 90 minutes later starting than what I was expecting. So it's going to be another probably minimum of 30 minutes. Um, so it's going to be now closer to half past 11, 12 o'clock before I do get started and hopefully the weather is going to be staying nice and sunny today it's not hot unfortunately it is about eight degrees uh but hopefully that will be enough um for me to stay warm throughout the the entire process and hopefully it will stay light enough for me to get this finished today before i obviously then start doing the detail in a couple of days time so i am really looking forward to getting to use these products i have been researching them online uh there is a lot of videos about the products and so far i have been very impressed with them so this car is a 2011 so the paintwork is almost 10 years old so it will be amazing to see how much iron the deposits that there is in the paint okay um, so that's one of the first things we are going to be doing after I have either rinsed the car or again snow foamed it and the reason for this is if you think about the palm of your hand the skin that's on it it is all rough it's not smooth the paint is like that also so the paint does have peaks and troughs and a general valley will remove the dirt that's sitting on the top of the paint. It may remove some of the stuff that's in the middle, but what I'm about to do today is actually try and remove all the contaminants off of the paint to give it that proper shine, uh, and then it will get detailed. Okay, so. Yes, I'm OCD, uh, but I do believe that putting the effort in will then make the results so much better. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, I do have the time to do this at the moment, but so far it's taken less than four hours. And that included setting up all the, the equipment and also de-rigging all the equipment also. Um, so potentially the prep work yesterday was only about three, maybe three and a half hours at the most, okay? Um, I would be expecting to do a full detail probably one to one and a half days, uh, but unfortunately I am slightly later today because of other issues, but things happen, yeah? Um, so, you know... <laughs> let's get started yeah I want to see the condition of the car when I was through in Dundee uh, and I came out of the shop after buying some of the products it sitting in the sunlight it was looking fantastic to be perfectly honest um, 
it's only when you get really really close up that you do see any of the imperfections the good thing that i found so far is there's not many swirl marks so that's very good but there is obviously this iron deposits so if you do not know what the iron deposits are even on a, a new car you will have iron deposits on the paint this is because of everything so all the pollutions that are in the air so when a car is being driven or being transported on the transporter or on rail depending on which country that you live in there will be iron deposits in the air which you cannot see uh, so unless you're actually running uh, carbon ceramic brakes which is generally if you have upgraded brake systems or if you're a very lucky person that has a supercar or a hypercar then all of your brakes are metal yeah uh, and over time every time that you apply the the brake pedal so the brake pad to the brake disc you actually wear off part of the brake disc and then that goes airborne and obviously we are then driving through that so it then sticks to the paint and as i discussed regarding the smoothness or roughness of your hands those iron deposits then sit inside any of the peaks and troughs so when you do a wash or when you do a valley you will remove anything that's loose but today what we're away to try and do is we're away to try and get everything that's inside these troughs yeah okay um so i've not used the product before i'm very very excited to begin to use these so let's get started Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is apply some snow foam again uh, to the outside of the car but as you can see, the reflection there of the skyline that we currently have. So beside the unit where I'm working, we do have some of these very large towers. And yeah, uh, the reflections came up very well on it. But to allow me to use the new products that we're ready to use, the, I am going to obviously apply the snow foam first just to remove any of the road grime that I've collected this morning. So starting from the top, working your way all the way down to the bottom. Okay. So when I first applied the product yesterday and also just now, uh, I had done it as per the videos I'd been watching on YouTube, which for the Catcher K2 was to turn the nozzle right down to minimum and then turn it back about half a rotation to then give you the correct amount of snow foam. Yeah, I did think yesterday that it was a bit light, to be perfectly honest, um, but I did it again this morning, and now I have just literally turned it right up to the maximum, okay? Um, and you can see how much foam that there is on this car, okay? So that's obviously going to be so much better a result. So you can actually see it dripping here off the rear pillar. So guys, 
please do play around with the settings it might not be the same for every car so please do use um, all the different settings available so you can actually get the best result it may determine it may be determined by the water quality that you've got it may also be determined by the product that you're using um, but yeah having that on full yes it is going to use up a lot more of the product but I'm so much more happier there with the the snow foam yeah uh, so yeah please do experiment with it because the more snow foam that you can use the better the cleaning is going to be okay uh, which is then going to obviously make things so much easier for you in the future so you can actually see it running down the windows you can see it running off the body now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a rinse after leaving it for maybe five minutes just to get rid of all the road grime from this morning you can see in that video there um, that when I am actually washing the front passenger wing that the water is literally just running straight off of it uh, and that is because of the products that are on the wing from yesterday uh, and also how clean the alloys are actually coming up very quickly just by using the snow foam today on them and then rinsing with the power washer as well so obviously I have the rest of the car to finish then we will start using the next product after I dry the entire surface so as you can see that is now the car being fully uh, rinsed down after using the snow foam on it and if you actually look at the passenger side paint there it actually almost looks like a mirror so that goes to show how good these products are obviously if i had hot water instead of the cold water then that may um, dig in or aggravate any of the dirt slightly more uh, and it might actually improve the condition but generally i am very happy with that so far but there is lots of different imperfections so not sure if you can see this it's this sort of thing that we are going to be working on today so running my hand over the paint it does feel quite smooth but there is lots of different imperfections that I can see with the naked eye not sure if you can see some of these here 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 and then there's four or five up there as well they are all over but you know this car is 11 years old almost the previous owner is one of my friends he does know that I'm going to be doing all of this to the car um, he did say last night that it is going to take a lot of work to it he knows that um, but he's still very looking forward to seeing the results 
after I have done all of this work to it, yeah? Um, you know, so there is a mark here that hopefully I can get out with some of the other products I am going to be using in the future. There is other marks here and here. So I'm going to quickly rinse, the, uh, dry this off and then we will start applying the iron remover product which as I said earlier I am very excited to be using because I want to see how much iron remove um, product that there is on the okay guys so this is the correct uh, drying cloth that you can buy uh, in certain packs uh, they are available at lots of different stockists plus also online and this had never been used before so this was actually bought yesterday and I have just dried off the entire car and look at all of this so there is for some reason blue staining here here uh, not sure what that is but also on the other side all of this so it does go to show how much contaminants are actually still on your paint even though you do think that it is all clean so now we're away to try and use the iron remover product and I'm gonna try and see if I can find a, a good area that is light enough where we can see the chemical reaction occurring. So if you see all of these areas here, this is all the iron that is in the paint. So obviously this car is white, so it does show it up a lot more than a dark car would. But that is sh unbelievable. That's shocking. Yeah. Um, so you think that the car, when it looks like this, is clean but it's not clean so as i was talking about this is all the iron that is deep down into the paint and this is what we are going to be removing so i do have water here and uh, one sponge which um, is slightly rough and i also have one cloth that on one side is very similar and on the other side is a microfiber to then remove all of this iron deposits then once it is all removed I will then redo that area and I will show you the difference okay so that now has been roughly five minutes and it actually looks as if this has been in a car crash with a bird or something that it's actually covered in blood but it's not that is actually the iron coming out of the paint and as you can see it is literally the entire half the bonnet that I have just sprayed so I have used that amount of product 
so I will need the full bottle but you can see the difference there between the untreated side here and the treated side I'm absolutely gobsmacked with that guys uh, so let's get it rinsed off so you can actually see how easy that this product is to remove so this is why I have the bucket here but I could honestly just do that with it with the sponge just rinse the sponge out and it does remove it but because we are actually wanting to completely remove everything this is why you use the sponge or the cloth and don't do it in circles do it in straight lines and make sure that you keep rinsing out your cloth to ensure that all the product is removed plus also any of the iron deposits as well to note with this product guys is it absolutely stinks it smells of rotten eggs okay um, but you can see the difference so so far we have a few spots still remaining but compared with the first time that I applied this product it's literally like night and day but there is still more coming through as you can see so it does go to show that using uh, the correct cloths and the correct techniques will clean the car but it may take a couple of applications especially if the car is older but so far in my opinion anyway there is less than a fifth of the amount of purple spots that have appeared with this second application so I will do the bonnet the other half of the bonnet uh, twice uh, the rest of the car I will only do once at the moment because I may run out of product but so far very very impressed with how this is going and we still have to do the clay bar so I am rather hoping that I will get to do the clay bar today but as I've said to you previously I want to make sure that the car is in a good enough condition to get to the next stage so if that means I need to spend more time using products like this before I move on to the clay bar then that's what I will do hopefully it will then make it easier to do the next process okay so the front wings now have been done I've now just sprayed both the doors uh, as you can see here there is some purple it's not a huge amount but I have literally just sprayed this so within the next few minutes it may become a lot more purple um, I'm not sure if I will manage to finish the whole body with this one bottle because I did two applications for the whole bonnet and I ended up having to do two applications to the front bumper as well due to the amount of uh, iron that was on it I now have probably about a quarter of the bottle left and I still have to do the roof plus the 
two rear quarter uh, the rear bumper and also the boot so I may have to go and buy more product okay so this is the rear of the car this is actually the end of the bottle and as you can see the rear is literally turning purple right in front of your eyes okay uh, the rear probably will need to be done again I would say just to try and get rid of anything that might be remaining but I have literally just finished the whole bottle so I will need to go and buy some more but at least all the sides have had one good application and I am obviously spending time making sure that I am doing this correctly okay uh, bonnet has been done twice which definitely did need it but look at this so yes there is um, a bit of damage on the arch so you can see all the iron which is actually part of the rust is coming out of the paintwork roof I have literally just finished dealing with that and the inside of the doors and the doors themselves so the reason that the bonnet is open at the moment is because I'm a way to deal with the slam trays but obviously this product needs five to ten minutes so I will deal with that while the product is turning the car purple so yeah you can see here all the way down the side all the way across has literally turned purple so I am so glad that I have now done this and got the car up to a good standard one of the guys that's actually here at the training center um, was very impressed actually with it I showed him the color changing literally in front of his eyes and he actually thought I was a professional detailer because I was doing such a good job on it and because I was obviously using some very very good products so yeah this is poor boy iron remover there is the directions for it uh, yeah I think I was about 16 or 18 pounds for that particular bottle yes I was not expecting to go through a whole bottle when I was doing this but I do not know if this vehicle has ever been detailed like this before and as I said right at the very start it is almost 11 years old or 10 years old sorry um, so there is going to be a lot of grime coming up off the roads so I want to deal with it now before the bad weather comes in so engine bay has just been prepped with this product here which is an all-purpose cleaner and degreaser uh, so even inside the engine bay cover sorry so underneath of the bonnet um, has been done so we'll leave that to soak while I then finish clearing off the the iron remover from the rear of the car then it will get fully rinsed off and then I will apply the wash products so there's one very clean engine bay uh, really happy with that new product to be honest with you it's really improved that there is still on the inside of the bonnet there is still some areas that I cannot get the dirt off of at the moment but it is looking so much better um, 
until you actually look down the side here and you actually see how much crap has actually just came out of this top area here um, when I was actually using the power washer on it so a lot of people do say not to use power washer on an engine um, but as you can hopefully hear the car has been running the whole time and it is still running at the moment I will drop the bonnet down to allow the heat to build up inside the engine bay because I will keep the engine running just to make sure that all the electrics are actually dry before I do switch it off um, comment down below if this is a no-no if it's definitely something that we shouldn't be doing um, but anytime I have done it previously I've never had any issues and obviously this is quite a new car so I would imagine that all of the electronics etc are all very well insulated um, so while I do have the bonnet open I will fill up the screen wash because I do have a long drive tomorrow um, and I want to make sure that the screen wash is full before I leave also today I will fill up with diesel as well okay so hopefully you can see this guys but if I actually apply water to the rear of the car uh, watch how quickly it actually runs off the paint surface now Hopefully you can see that, especially up the top here, and then all the way down. So the reason for that is because there is no iron now on the paint. So if I actually run my hand on the paint, that is smooth. So you can actually see the water literally just running straight off the the paint there so if I do this with my hand yeah very very smooth it's fantastic to be perfectly honest that I am very impressed with that uh, unfortunately I can't really show you at the front because of where I'm positioned but it is exactly the same all over the car uh, obviously the rear here is out in the sunlight so it is a lot easier to try and show you but you can actually see the shine as well so this now I have obviously rinsed all the iron remover product off I'm very quickly away to go and eat some lunch and then I am away to go and apply the wash same as what I did yesterday and hopefully it will be looking even better but yeah this is phenomenal so if you can actually see these water droplets here they are literally running down the the rear and then just falling straight off so they're just not having anything that they can actually bond onto because the paint is so smooth so without even using a cloth on this that is actually quite dry just because the water just constantly runs off of it so I'm very very impressed with this so far and it is only going to get better so if you can see up there, the shine that has on it, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So if I run my hand over there, very, very smooth. There's no imperfections now in it at all. As I said earlier, there's no swirl marks. So that's going to obviously be a lot easier. But look how shiny that front there is. This does not look, in my opinion anyway, like 
a car that is nine years old. Yes, there is still some imperfections like here, uh, here, 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 but that's stone chips, um, so I will get them touched up. Obviously the alloys I will get touched up as well, but yeah, that's, that's looking fantastic. Okay, so again, uh, to wash the car, what we're going to use is the Poor Boys Biodegradable All-Purpose Cleaner and Degreaser. Uh, we are going to use two different buckets. So I have one there, one there, and the same two cloths like what I used yesterday. So in here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, I have no idea, unfortunately, how much um, it is meant to be used on here. Um, but it can be used on all types of surfaces, which is great. It does say 1 to 1 engine in grease. Carpet or upholstery is 7 to 1. Uh, leather vinyl tires 15 to 1, white walls general cleaning and 126 to 2 for windows um, so yeah uh, we will obviously fill about 5 litres of water into this bucket we'll see how we get on regarding the concentration of the solution and then we will get started but that is how shiny the car is looking at the moment but i just want to give it another quick going over to make sure that it is all properly cleaned and just to remove it, any of the remaining products that we have been using earlier on and also the hopefully the remaining contaminants out of the paint as well so i don't think today we're going to have time to do the clay barring so this is one of the reasons that i am doing this extra wash today because i am going to be going on a long drive tomorrow so it will be getting covered in road grime and then hopefully uh, on either friday or saturday when i'm back i can then carry on doing this detailing and because of the amount of products I have been using over yesterday and today then hopefully the next wash will be nice and easy so let's get started So now I am away to go and use this drying towel. Uh, this one is from Meguiar's, uh, which is a very uh, famous detailing company. It is a microfiber towel. It is absolutely huge. Uh, so it's 55 centimeters by 76 centimeters. It's 920 GSM. I'm not sure what that means. Um, it potentially means grams square meter but I'm not sure okay um, it is extra large in size this is the first time that I've used it because I've literally just bought it but yeah so could probably cover a small continent which is going to be great because the temperature now here is about three degrees it's absolutely frozen especially because my hands have been in and out of cold water for the the majority of the day 
uh, but this towel feels very very soft so yeah let's get started So as you can see there, I did actually use the towel on all the different surfaces. Um, so glass, plastic, number plates, uh, the, the body itself, even the chrome around the, the side windows, it can be used on all of them, okay? Um, so this is pretty damp now, to be perfectly honest. It does pick up all the, the water. Uh, Generally, I try and do it in straight lines to start off with until the majority of the water is picked up and then you can potentially do it in circles. I am not a, a professional detailer, guys, so I may be doing some things wrong. If I am, please do comment down below uh, because this is educational for everybody. Uh, some of these products I've never used before and obviously wanted to show everybody how easy they are to use, if they're good, if they're bad, uh, and just be honest with you. So, so far, I am very impressed with the products I have managed to use. Um, again, today we've not managed to use the clay bar, which is slightly disappointing, but uh, hopefully you can understand my philosophy, which is making sure that stage one is done correctly, then stage two, stage three, stage four, so on and so on so yes it does take a bit of time uh, again probably today I'll have spent about four hours so maximum that's like eight hours including two setups and what will be two dismantles uh, of all the equipment so it's not too bad okay okay guys so that is the end of day two um, so I'm actually really excited, I'm absolutely knackered, but I'm really excited to be able to show you the results and I think that this is absolutely fantastic. So guys, I'm not a professional detailer, okay? There will be things that potentially I have done wrong, please do comment down below and tell me what they are, but this is how the new A5 is now looking so if I manage to come around here you can potentially see it so it is starting to get a bit dark a bit cloudy here uh, it is actually cold enough that I can now see my breath so that's one of the other reasons I am stopping but I am absolutely knackered after being in the gym yesterday morning and then all the work that I have put into this yesterday and today 
but guys hopefully there will be lots of big thumbs up for what you're seeing here because I think this looks absolutely fantastic so look at the shine in this Look at how amazing that this paint actually now looks. Alloys are also looking very good. Um, I am very impressed with all the products, but even, so look at that. Look at how shiny uh, and how much of a reflection that there is there in the white paint. That to me is, yeah, I'm just totally blown away. I'm actually lost for words. Um, yeah, some blood, some sweat, some tears, but it does go to show that putting 110% into each of these stages so far, the, the results speak for themselves. So, if I rub my hand across the paint, it's smooth, there's no uh, residue that I'm feeling, there's no um, iron that I'm feeling. Like this is just literally, my hand is just running completely smooth over. So, you know, look at the shine there in the bonnet the glass is looking really good the roof the front so yes there is still imperfections with it which I will work on over the next few days weeks and months and I will be documenting everything and hopefully everybody will enjoy seeing the transformation of this car because, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm so glad that I've now done it and so glad that everybody's watching.